What's up YouTube, DJ Chronix here, um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get 1.0.7 patch on GTA IV for PC, um, basically this lets you do multiplayer online, and if you get that WS10 error message on your GTA 5, you might need to use this patch. So first what you want to do is go to this link, I'll be posting it in the description to get this title update. Um, so you basically open it up, click on this, and then you click on title update which is this one. Title update MSI. And then it's going to basically take some time to load up. Um, so while this is waiting, wait, actually, wait, nope, you didn't die. I'm still going to do this, I'm still doing the same thing as you guys do, um, I had it updated before, but something went wrong with my game, so I have to reinstall it, and I'm going to do it with this channel. So let's see what happens. So it looks like this is the update and this is the patch, as I can see. I had this one. Be I had this one before, but I never had this one yet, so I don't know what is that. But I guess that. So once you just gotta wait for that done, I'll probably just cut this part out so you guys don't have to wait long. I'm just gonna see this video. Or skip through this part and let you guys um, just wait for it on your own. Just pause the video for a Okay, so after it's done and all that, it's gonna say this. And so once you're done with that, um, it basically lets you launch the game. And the thing about my computer is that it has very low specs. Like it has a 9200 Nvidia GeForce graphics, which is pretty dang crappy. So unfortunately for me, I'm going to have to run this game in window mode. And hopefully this will um, basically just let me play with you guys. And yeah, I'm just still trying to, hopefully I can zoom in on it and with the Camtasia 8 and let you guys still see it, but not um, have less lag. <coughs> so here's the final test to see if it actually works and then later on I'll be doing later videos on how to do it so here it is it's loading up as you can see and I'm signed in Now, later on in the series, or maybe in the next video, or the next episode, um, I'll be doing a little tutorial on how to get the game to run pretty quick, and or to get Xbox Live working. Or, no, just online working. It was basically pretty simple, um, I don't know where I'm going to find a link at all, but I'll just see how it's working. So here's the long loading part. So once go to options, I go to graphics. I only have 295 megabytes of graphics. Now I found this command line that basically lets me get um what is it? About like 30 frames, most of the time 30 frames, with 795 megabytes. I used to have a thousand, but I can't find that command line anymore. So this basically gets rid of WS10 error, and it starts your game. See, as you can see right here, and once this game loads up, I'm probably just gonna end it right here because. 
<coughs> so I hope you guys like um like in this series so far. This is my second video that I'm gonna be uploading. Um so yeah, I hope you guys like and enjoy. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get this video going. I got me and a friend and a clan. He started a clan, we got I joined his clan and hopefully I can add more clan members um clan members later in the future. Well loaded up. So I can see as you can see it's loading it's your call. Because I had this game before and it saved all my data. But I had an error with the game and it just caused my game to go crazy. So as you can see I'm getting crazy lag right now. But once you install this thing, it's called the command line. It basic basically it sets your settings all at low and lets it run way faster. So I'll be doing that in a later video soon. Uh, let's see if it spawns up right now. I guess all my cars are gone and all that, but it's better start on a new fresh thing. I'm gonna have to install all my mods again, but I didn't have much mods. I had LCBDFR, which is a series that I'm gonna be doing. Um, I had VDA Kelper, I had Indicator Script mod, and then I just had a few placing um, NYPD cars. So that's basically the end of this video. Um, hope you guys liked the tutorial, and don't forget the links are gonna be in the description.